Hi, welcome back. We've cut out the nine images now with the Magic Extract tool, the Magic Extractor. Um, I hope it didn't take as long as uh, um, longer than you thought. It took me about an hour or so, perhaps a little less, just to get it right. Um, and then we've got all our nine images cut out. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to go to the background. So let's pick this first one again, the guitars, and we go to the background of this and we go to layer and new layer. Let's click OK there so that the layer is in between the background and the background copy. So now what we want to do with the layer is go to the paint bucket, make sure it we're set on white, so white is the foreground, and then click on that layer to make it white so that we've got that white layer in between the two. Now we need to change the um, settings, the color settings. So if we go to the background copy, which is the one that we want to change the color of, make it a little bit bigger so that we can see what we're doing. Go to enhance, adjust color, and adjust color curves. The dialog box that pops up is very handy. It gives you a before and after, but um, we can actually see what's going on in the picture as well once we make some changes. Now these are the sliders that we want to change here. We're going to change the highlights. Uh, basically the effect that we want is steps. So as long as we make the steps, use your own judgment, use your own eye here to get the uh, the right setting. So I'm going to bring this up quite high because we're after a high contrast. So we need a lot of light, a lot of pizzazz. Mid-tone brightness should go around about halfway there. You can see what it's doing already to the image. Midtone contrast, let's bring this down slightly, not an awful lot. But the shadows we really do want to bring down. Now look at what happens when we bring the shadow slider right down. You can already see it's deepening, it's giving us that really high contrast look that we're looking for against the nice bright white. And you can see that we've achieved this step sort of thing. We want to do that to every image. Let's OK that. And there we have it. You can see the difference between this image and that one there. OK, for the final step for this square, for this particular image, we're going to go back to Layer, and we're going to flatten the image. So it brings all of these layers together into one. Great. So we've got one, one image already for moving over to our A3 sheet. Now we need to carry on doing it to all of these images and uh, I'll see you back in the next video when we'll create the A3 sheet and then put all nine images over to that sheet so we create a three by three just like this.